Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and today's experiment is how much water is in an orange. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is an orange, a knife, a scale, and a plate, and some adult supervision. So I'm going to start off and weigh our orange to get the baseline weight, and it is 61 ounces, which is uh, 1831 milliliters. So what we're going to do is cut the orange. So make sure you have an adult because the knife is very sharp and you want to cut as thin as slices as possible. Um, a couple of mine got a little thick, but it doesn't matter. It's still going to work out. Uh, cut it as thin as you can. Uh, and also without trying to knock the camera over and cut the orange all the way through. So you have many, many slices, uh, there. And once we finish getting all the slices done, uh, we're going to take that and we're going to place it on, I just have a regular plate and I put uh, some aluminum foil uh, down. So we're going to take all the slices and spread them out so they're not covering on top of each other. So you just kind of want to lay them out uh, individually so they can be exposed. I'm going to, you can dry it out a number of different ways. I'm going to use the old natural uh, in the sunlight, but you can use a hair dryer, a fan above it, a fan because we want to dry the orange out like dry fruit. So here it is, all natural style, out in the sun, and I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. Like I said, you can speed this process up with a hair dryer or a fan. Here it is, end results. I kind of put it together. You can see it's all dried up. It's been 24 hours, and the weight is 19 ounces. Wow. So to figure out the amount of water inside the orange, there's a couple formulas I put in the description uh, where I divide the weight of the dry sample to the weight of the original and then another formula on there for the percentage of the water. But what the end result is our orange, this one right here, which every orange will be different, consisted of 69% water, which is amazing. So depending on what you guessed at the beginning, uh, this is uh, pretty amazing how much water there is. And the reason there's that much water because all living things must have water to survive. The good old water system recycles water all the time. The evaporation and change to liquid to water to water to vapor. Evaporation water occurs every day, no matter if it's in a cup or a lake. Evaporation is the major part of the water cycle. I hope you enjoyed this video and please list in the comments below how much your orange weighed. I'd like to hear about that. And make sure you click thumbs up. I really love when you click the thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.